I'm working on uh, fixing that problem. Okay. So I'll send you, by the end of today, I'll send you another design that should have fixed that problem. Okay. At 9 o'clock on a Sunday morning, most teenagers are sound asleep. But this group of middle and high school wizards have a critical mission before them to win the first global robotics championship. The Wizards EXC team is comprised of five boys and six girls between the ages of 13 and 17, all from different schools across Montgomery County. Congratulations to team 97, 94, Wizard EXE of Rockville, Maryland. In April, the team won the first Tech Challenge Inspire Award, which recognizes excellence in robot design, engineering, and outreach. The Wizards competed with 128 top teams to win this award. So when we won it, we were sort of in disbelief that all, um, it was so crazy. It was this giant stage and you had to run up to the stage and get this tr huge trophy. And we were all sort of in disbelief. And um, now that it's sort of sunk in, I think we're trying to leverage that Inspire Award. That's what it's called, the top award. We're trying to leverage the Inspire Award to make a better community for robotics in Maryland and try to leverage it to um, get more people interested in STEM. It's part of the Wizards logo. Their mission is to engage, expand, and educate others about STEM. Something Annika Seth will tell you was the furthest thing from her mind growing up. <laughs> when I was a little girl, I was like a princess and Barbie girl. I played dress up, I watched princess movies, I was into fairies and everything. And um, I remember um, my mom was actually friends with uh, the Oberoi family, who, uh, whose uh, father is the coach of this. And so my mom was asked if I wanted to do this. And we were having dinner, sorry, breakfast on a Sunday morning. And my mom was like, Annika, you want to do robotics? And I was like, what? <laughs> but what's really, really nice about this, I would say, is the use of math and physics yeah. that we have. <laughs> and then we came here, and I was still kind of apprehensive, but my mom was like, just try it. Try, try it for a few weeks or something. And I kind of fell in love with the idea of making something that kind of just listens to you. Like, it, it does whatever you want it to do. Many of the students on the Wizards team have been involved in the FIRST program since elementary school. The acronym FIRST is for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. For each challenge the team competes in, they are given a game to design that has specifications that are part of the overall scoring. Their winning robot could stack, lift, grab, and balance. So our robot there takes these blocks that are six inch cubes and it puts them into these goals called crypto boxes. And so you can stack them four high and there's three columns and you get points for every row, column, block you put in. And if you put them in a special pattern, you get even more points. And many of the parts for the robot were made with the team's very own 3D printer. And we like using 3D printers because we can make custom parts, so we can make parts however we want them, whatever we want them to be for, and we can customize them like that. So we can print them, they use this filament material, and it uses a really hot extruder to make molten filament and spread it out. So when it moves around, it will start making a model. So we make the designs in CAD. We use Autodesk Inventor to design all of the parts to make them what we want them to be, not what manufacturers give us. So that's the advantage with the 3D printer. We can make parts for what we need, not for what other people want us to think we need. The Wizards built their robot in the basement of the Oberoi house, where both parents serve as coaches for the team, but the students are quick to point out they are the brains behind their success. How involved are your parents in, in guiding you and sort of giving you advice, or is this all yours? So our parents are a guide. They don't do any of the work. Like, our coach does not know how to program. He does not know how to CAD. Um, he just gives us advice, and there is a guide, but we're the ones doing all the work. First is not just about the robot, it's about um, they learn teamwork, marketing, branding, raising money. Um, they learn to deal with their problems, they fail when they have to step up and do it again. And the first world champ, the global that we're going to, it's not most about the robot, but it's collaborating with other countries. It is bringing, it is crossing boundaries to bring countries together. These students are going to develop lifetime friendships with children all over the world. This award-winning group is focused and talented. But they will tell you there are bumps in the road where they learn about what it means to be a team. So for example, 
at the very beginning of this season, we had a competition that some people didn't felt um, went as well as it could. There were a lot of communication lapses. Mm -hmm. And after that um, competition, we got together at one of our Sunday meetings. We sat in a circle, and we all talked about what went wrong, what we would do next time. Um, we discovered that one of the biggest problems was that we needed to have clearly defined roles. And so um, doing that enabled us to work through these difficulties as a team instead of just letting them build. As winners of the World Championship, the Wizards will now compete in FIRST Global this August in Mexico City. The competition is an Olympic-style robotics event with the goal of encouraging collaboration among the youth of the world. The Wizards do outreach for corporate sponsorships, and they are currently mentoring another robotics team from Bosnia. Here at home, they mentor other younger FIRST teams. We do training sessions, we mentor those teams. We really try and get people more involved in robotics and STEM so at a younger age so that they move on with it and they lo really love it when they, as they get older. You might wonder if there's time for these kids just to be teenagers. Well, let's just say there's no doubt these wizards know how to balance work and play. Like a lot of the time we go laser tagging. We also have... Michelle um, likes to beat me at laser tag. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we go to see movies. And um, also, especially like after our competitions, we'll like all gather and have like a little afternoon to ourselves, kind of like the parties. We're, we're one big happy family. We're still teenagers. Between now and August, the wizards will meet several hours per week getting ready for the global competition, but they need to raise about $25,000 to cover their expenses for travel and building their robot. They've set up a GoFundMe page and are working hard to get more sponsors on board. Uh, Joe Thaney said that we're going to talk more about that after we go over our updates. So. But in the end, the Wizards say they are honored to be ambassadors of the United States on the global stage. Reporting from Gaithersburg, I'm Susan Kennedy.